What's up, my stat stars? Here's a great probability question that a lot of kids kind of struggle with. So we have a game, and the outcome of the game is a discrete random variable x. The outcomes are 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 points, or 100 points, on any one play of the game. And we have the associated probabilities for each of those outcomes in this beautiful probability distribution. Now here's the deal. What if we play this game twice, and the scores of each game are independent of each other? What is the probability that we add our two scores together, and we get a sum of 70? Go ahead and try it out. Hit pause. See if you get the right answer by the end of this video. All right, here's the deal. There's multiple different ways of getting a score of 70. For example, we get 30 on the first play, 40 on the second. But we could also get 40 on the first play, 30 on the second, even though that's still a 30 and a 40 and it adds up to 70, those are two distinctly different outcomes. 30 then 40 or 40 then 30. We could also get a 20 on the first play and then a 50 on the second play, or we could reverse that for a completely different outcome of 50 on the first, 20 on the second. So now that we understand that there are four different outcomes that result in us getting a total of 70, let's talk about how to find the probability. All right, so here are the probabilities of each of those outcomes. If we want to get a 30 on the first play, we need that 20% chance to occur from the probability distribution. And then we want a 40 on the second, that's going to be a 25% chance to play. That multiply those together, general multiplication rules, multiple plays of the game, multiply the outcomes. Now, that's going to be 0.05. But then we could also get 40 on the first, 30 on the second. Now, mathematically, that's still a 0.25 times a 0.20. So it's the same probability of 0.05, but those are two distinctly different outcomes. So, so far, we got 0.05 and 0.05. Then we could get a 50 and a 20. That's 0.3 times 0.1. 0 0.3 for the 50, 0.1 for the 20. But we could reverse that for a distinctly different outcome, 20 on the first, 50 on the second. Again, that's still going to be a 0.1 to 0.3, but they are distinctly different. So here we get 0.03, and here we get 0.03. So now we have to add all these together because they can't all occur at the same time. It's this outcome, or this outcome, or this outcome, or this outcome. So we add those probabilities together, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.03, 0.03, for a grand total of 0.16. There's a 60% chance that if you play this game twice, you'll get a score of 70. All right, hopefully that made a lot of sense, but if you are looking for more help in all aspects of AP statistics, not just probability, please check out the Ultimate Review Pack. It has everything you need to review, learn, and practice to not only prepare for tests in class, but for the AP exam in May. See you later.